In the toolbox, under Documents, we have the Label tool, which is another powerful and versatile tool for labeling in ARCHICAD. We can use the Label tool to label either automatically or independently. Labels are text blocks or symbols that can be linked to construction elements and 2D fills. They also allow us to identify or comment elements or parts of the design. They can be framed, unframed, they can have a leader or an arrowhead, they contain custom text specification or predefined automatic text or assemble. And there's three types of labels, independent, associative, and member labels. The first label we'll look at is the independent label and they're manually placed on the plan or in a section elevation or 3D document window. Typically we'll use the independent label to display information that doesn't come from the model so we'll enter the desired information directly ourselves and we'll take a look at placing an independent label. We'll go into label tool here and double click and that brings up our label default settings as in other default settings we have a bunch of different parameters that we can work with and let's take a look at this we'll run through these in order we'll start with favorites If we select favorites and we've saved a favorite type label, we can access it through this box here. I'm working in the latest version of ARCHICAD 12, so I haven't set anything up there yet, but once you've set up a favorite, this is where it can be accessed. Here we have our content and preview, and here's the independent label and that's set up for text and down here we have the wall tool, column tool, beam tool and separate label types can be set up for these various different objects and entities to do that for instance we select the beam tool click here for text and we can come down here and pick from some presets such as object indicator or ID device marker or label window marker and we can also load another label that we've created ourselves. Right now I'm going to leave all of these on text. Then we can go into textile and this gives us all the usual parameters for setting the fonts, the size, the alignment, etc. We can also select to put a frame around the label and we can make it opaque. If we do that we can come in here and select the select the background pen. We'll put a frame on our label and have a yellow background. Here we can decide what type of pointer we'd like we can have this straight pointer which we can adjust with three different points or an arc. We can select whether we want the pointer to start at the top, middle, or bottom of the text box. We can choose what type of arrowhead that we'd like to put on the label and the size of the arrowhead. We can place some default text in here for the for the label or leave this blank and if this is blank then we as we set the label we'll type the text in on the plan and we can also set the orientation we can set the angle if we'd like to place an angled label on the plan so we'll select OK. To place a label we click once to get it started then click again and then one more time and that brings up the text box now we can set the text box that way which will limit the size of the text box or we can place and then 
just click again and then the text box will expand as we type into it Now we also have symbol label and custom settings which are grayed out right now but if we select a different type of label some of these parameters become available to us and we can adjust them here alright so we'll delete that now if I go back into label and we put a frame and an opaque yellow background and we put in some predefined text and select OK every time we place the label that predefined text will appear if we select the arrow and we double click in the text box we can highlight it, say change the text size. Now once the label is placed, it can be adjusted by clicking on any of these nodes. If I click a, on the node at the end of the arrow, a pet palette comes up. We select stretch and at that point we can stretch this and align this into any position we'd like same with this node here we can move that into various different positions we also have the automatic labeling function in ARCHICAD if I double click on the wall tool we have an option down here to label the wall and then we go into label settings and we can select ID and OK OK and now we draw a wall and automatically a label comes up on that wall indicating the ID of that wall if I want a particular piece of text for a series of walls that I'm drawing, I can go into the wall tool, back into label settings, select text, and then down here in our text box, we can type in our text. select OK and now when I draw the wall it gets labeled with the text we can do the same thing with an object if we go into object and say we take a, an armchair go into listing and labels we can label the object label settings select the ID OK OK and as we place the object we have a label automatically inserted for that object we can do the same things for doors and windows so say we select the door we go down to listing and labeling label settings we can select ID select OK place a door on the wall and we automatically have a label for the door that we just placed again once I've placed a label and we need to edit it we can select the label go into label selection settings we can change that to object indicator select OK
and this makes for a highly efficient and effective labeling system.